Hey, it's Michelle from Michelle Kirsch Creative, and in today's video, I wanted to share a really quick tutorial on what the difference is between using Alpha Lock and a clipping mask. So I've just got a blank document open, and I'm going to use a couple stamps from my abstract doodle set just to speed things along. And I've selected a basic shape and a color, and I'm just going to stamp that onto my page. And then I will create a new layer so that I can stamp something on top. And let's select something from my branch, leaves and branches set. And I'll just make this black so that you can see it on top. Okay, so just a super basic design so that we can work with this. And I'm just going to quickly make some adjustments here and center them a little bit on the page. So I've just swiped to select both layers and that way I can move them both at once. Okay, so now that we have our design, now we can have a look at how we could manipulate that bottom shape. So I've just gone into the painting brushes and I'm gonna select something with some texture. So maybe this stucco brush right here and I'm going to select a darker green, and that way I can brush some texture on top of that shape. So what I'm going to do is actually duplicate that layer, and that way I can show you the two different ways of doing this. The result will look the same, but I'll tell you the reasons why you might want to um, do one method versus the other. So I've turned off the bottom layer, so I'm just working on the top layer here, and I've clicked on it, and I'm going to select Alpha Lock. So what this does, you can see the background around the shape changes, and that means that anything that I draw will only go onto that shape. So I've resized my brush, and you can see I'm brushing over top of the shape, but that brush is only appearing on the shape itself. It's not going into that white space. And when you look at the layer here, you can see that the texture that I added with that brush is on that actual layer. So now let's deselect that and reselect the layer below, and I'll show you what a clipping mask does. So I've created a new layer because the clipping mask has to be above that layer. And on that new blank layer, I'm going to do the exact same thing with the exact same brush, just brushing on some texture over top. And you can see how the texture goes over the shape, and this is what it would have looked like on the previous one if we didn't have alpha lock in place. So when I look at the layers, you can see the texture that I added on the top layer and the shape on the bottom layer. So I'm going to click on that texture layer and choose Clipping Mask, and you'll see that it now clips to the shape below. So the benefit of doing this is that it's non-destructive to that bottom layer. So now I have this texture on a separate layer. I can turn it on and off if I want, and I can adjust that layer on its own and the bottom layer on its own if I want to. So for example, here I'm just um, changing the blend modes and running through some different examples of what I could do with that clipping mask layer. I could also change the opacity or you know apply a different layer effect if I want to. So hopefully that helps you see the difference between the two. Um, with Alpha Lock, you're drawing or writing or adding directly to your layer. Whereas with Clipping Mask, you're drawing on a separate layer and then that is being clipped to the layer below. So it's non-destructive and keeps both layers intact. I prefer to use Clipping Mask where possible so that I have that freedom of going back to both layers. But Alpha Lock can be great if you know you don't need to make changes or you have a limited amount of layers and you need to use the least amount of layers possible. So I hope you found this helpful and I will see you next time.